What's up, good people? Hey, that's what I say on Snapchat. But hey, everybody, CK here, and I'm coming to you guys with another video. And I know y'all been waiting on this video because I've been getting messages. I'm gonna be talking about the ColourPop concealers, but I did do a live unboxing on these concealers, and I did a first impression, and the video is still on my channel because I would not remove it. I wouldn't do that to y'all. You get what I'm saying? So it is still there if you guys wanna see my first reaction to the concealer, but I will say, and I said this on my live video that I have mixed emotions because I was like, listen, if I don't like these, how am I going to break it to the people? These are some of the deeper shades that I have, but they have a total of 15 shades. And I think that I'm going to go ahead and swatch them in this video as well. Now, another thing I want to tell you guys, I'm going to use this concealer as a foundation, as you saw in the title. Now I saw a couple of people do that. I saw Iris and I saw Shay. I don't actually know their channel names, but I know that I am subscribed to them. So I saw them do it as well as I've been getting messages of people asking me if I could try it as a foundation. And not only that, I'm not going to use a primer, nor am I going to use a corrector. And y'all know I don't get down like that when I do reviews because I rock it how I'm going to really rock it. But YOLO. <laughs> and so also from me seeing the other girls do it, I was like, for real, let me check it out and see for myself. Cause you know, I like to show y'all better than I can tell y'all. So I'm going to try it. But for $6, that would be bomb if it works as a foundation. It says, we know, we can't believe it either. But the rumors you heard were true. Introducing, no, I'm just kidding. The long awaited no filter concealer. It's been a long time coming, over a year actually, but this lightweight, creamy, dreamy formula was created with soft blurring pigments to give you the most flawless matte finish. And it says that it blends like butter. It gives medium to buildable coverage. It feels comfortable on the face. It lasts all day long and it makes your face look airbrushed. Like the name says, no need for a filter with this concealer. No filter, girl. I have worn this concealer twice. I absolutely love it. Do I crease with it? Cause it does say it doesn't crease, but y'all know with every concealer I crease, but I can honestly say with this one, it keeps it dry under there. Like my lines are present and it can make it look a little creppy like after, you know, after hours of wear, but it definitely stays in place. It is definitely long wearing. It is definitely comfortable. I've worn it twice. As a foundation though, I have never. So we just have to find a color Oh my gosh, that fits me as a foundation. But I guess if people are gonna be using it as a foundation, they'll probably need to go a little deeper. But knowing ColourPop, they are more than likely working on a foundation as we speak. I mean, why not? I think they are trying to kill the game, y'all. I really do. But this is the deepest concealer and this is in the shade Rich 75, okay? So I will probably contour, and I keep looking at my monitor, I'm sorry. But I will probably contour my nose with this. I don't usually go this deep, but this will be the best contour shape for me. Now to figure out which one matches my face the best. Which one? Who rocks the best? Uh, uh. Like SpongeBob, just kidding. I'm nervous. Let me get my beauty blender. And I'm all up in your grill because I want you guys to see everything. I do have a blemish here because we had a little situation I told you about in the other video. Here, here, and here. But they'll be gone. Give me like a month. They'll be gone. So I'm going to take this color um, Rich Tan and it is also number 65. Let's see. No, girl, that's not it. I will say though, people were saying that they oxidize. I don't think I've witnessed them oxidizing, but we're going to test that out today. But one thing I know is how it looks in the tube. It comes out a little bit different than it does in the tube. So let's try deep 70 and see. This is the color I use as a highlight. I may have to mix those two. Ugh, I don't want to mix, girl. And I'm pretty sure this will be a contour. This is deep 75. Mm, definitely contour. Y'all, if this does not work, we're going to have a serious talk because I have somewhere to go. So deep 70 it is. And I've already moisturized my face. I don't know. But look at that. Look how that just covered up that mark though. But the concealer's bomb. But anyway, the applicator is amazing. I will do a close up on that when I'm giving you guys swatches. I'm gonna be taking my Morphe sponge. Let me see how it looks when I blend it. Okay, so yeah, just what I thought. Maybe I'll take a little rich tan. Let's put that in there and see. Nope, uh-uh girl, no. Let me go with what I thought initially. 
Let's do this deep gold in a little bit. This, uh, like, I hope this is not a fail. But you know, oh! Nothing brows. I think I did it. Oh, oh, blends real good. Blend it real good. So I won't be doing this as a foundation, but do you see how I covered all those blemishes? Whoa, girl. So let's take this deep gold in, cause we didn't do a corrector. So we gotta do something. Do y'all see that? It doesn't look like you need to correct. It doesn't look like you need to correct at all. A concealer that you do not have to correct with. Now I'm gonna put a little more of this golden like down here because that's not right. Now I'm gonna go into the shade Deep Golden which is what I usually use as a highlight and I'm not gonna put it right in those lines because we already have some product in there. We'll just blend it up. And I will have a back to school tutorial coming where I use this as well. That was the very first time I used it. So you guys, you guys, <laughs> you guys will get to see that when that video posts, okay? And blend that baby. But do you see how bomb it blends? Like it is flawless. Uh-oh, they may wanna change the color of the tops though because I literally just got that all messed up, ugh. All right, so I'm not much of a contour girl, but since we're giving you makeup without a primer and without corrector, I might as well go on and contour so you can see how it operates, right? So this is Rich 75, and I barely, barely, you hear me? I barely contour my cheeks because I don't really have to. So I'm literally gonna just, like, and I'm gonna blend that. That's it. I'm gonna make it blend out. That's it. But the nose though, honey, we gonna hit it. Whoops. I'm gonna fix it on my finger. Oh, it blends well. That's actually not a bad contour. Oh shoot. That looks good. Just with a little blending. A little blending ain't never hurt nobody. <gasps> I forgot to set with a powder. Like I totally thought I said it already cause it looks so good. So I'm gonna go in with my Ben Nye, which I already have been using this and it works well with the ColourPop. I honestly think that if you didn't want to set this, you wouldn't have to set it, to be honest. Very nice, very nice. It is definitely C-Key approved, but let's see if it stands up to the claims. So lightweight, check. Creamy, dreamy formula, check. Flawless, check. Matte finish, check. Blends like butter, check. Medium to buildable, I would say well, medium to buildable can actually mean full. And I definitely agree because look, my blemishes are gone. I have not corrected. I have not done anything but use their concealer. But I am gonna go on top of this with my BH Cosmetics Studio Pro Powder in the shade 240, which is my holy grail. And I'm just gonna set everything. And I may do a little bronzing, but I will just come back with the rest of the face. How about that? How about that? All right, you guys, so this is the final look of me using ColourPop as a foundation. Say what? I know, girl, I know. But I'm gonna honestly say, and I'm looking at my monitor, but the highlight though, you know what that is. So from looking at my monitor, I do see a little bit of discoloration because it's not my exact color, but it looks really dope. Like it looks really bomb. Like if I just wanted to do this as an everyday look, I could totally get away with it, but I will not be using this concealer as a foundation because if I do mix my foundations, I like to put them on my hand and mix them and check the color before I put it on. I do not like to guess as I'm I'm swiping it on you feel me so I won't be using it as a foundation but girl as a concealer yes yes and more yes yes we can no I'm just kidding but ColourPop definitely has my vote they have my approval on this concealer you guys I was so nervous but I'm so happy it actually works so you got another six dollar concealer so that is it for this video you guys if you enjoyed this video don't forget to thumbs up but you guys have an awesome blessed day and I will see you sooner than you think Bye. Beauty, confidence is key. You know what I mean. A woman feels good when she's looking pretty. I don't need no Benz, Lexus, or Range Rover. Just give your girl a bomb, see key beauty makeover. Confidence is key, ladies. You know what I mean. Or maybe her eyeshadow and mascara will help you see. Check out her foundation and the blush on her cheek. Yeah, we ain't playing games. It's the Seeky Beauty. Yeah, Seeky Beauty.